Hello, hello to the What is Lip P2P talk. I'm Martin and... Hey folks, I'm Marco. And we, we're both on the Stewards team um, and we work on Lip P2P. So what is Lip P2P, Marco? Okay, so we start with a raw TCP connection. We use multi-stream to negotiate noise or TLS and, and sorry, to back up, there's these building wait, wait, blocks. Our, our slides are not on. Oh, oh no, okay, pause. Wait, okay. Yeah, so lib P2P, we have these building blocks. We have transports, we have multiplexers, we have secure channels, we have peer discovery. So we start with a raw TCP connection, but then we use multi-stream to negotiate noise or TLS, and then we use multi-stream to negotiate the multiplexer, YAMX, or MPLEX. No, no, Marco, this is not what lib P2P is nowadays. What? <laughs> so lib P2P nowadays um, is mostly just quick. Uh, on the transport layer. So there's, we, we have Quake, we have different transport, uh, we have other transports, we have fallbacks for like TCP and, and, um, and WebSocket and WebRTC. Um, we have web transport, which is basically also just Quake. And let's, let's look at some numbers. So here you see um, uh, two, two uh, Grafana dashboards that I generated um, a couple of days ago, screenshotted a couple of days ago. And it shows the distribution of transports that my Kuber node is using. So this Kuber node is not doing anything special. Uh, I just set it up on a, on a virtual server somewhere at, at Linode. And as you can see, it is handling about 90% quick connections. So this is the, the dark blue and the light blue part here, um, which stand for um, um, different, different quick versions. Uh, but for, for the purposes of our talk, this is just quick. This is 90% quick. And then we have a little bit of TCP and a little bit of WebSocket and, and other transport. So the, these, numbers, these numbers make, make a lot of sense um, when you compare them to what, what Google and, and Apple are reporting. Um, so they have obviously have large quick deployments, um, both on the, on the server and on the client side. And um, they also observe that um, about 90% of the time that they try try a quick connection, they actually succeed in getting a quick connection. And in five to, uh, five to 10% of the networks, uh, UDP is blocked because network admins think that UDP is evil. Um, so so you, need, you, you still need a TCP fallback, but for, for the vast majority of connections, uh, it actually works. And in lib 2 p um, when we dial a new connection to a peer, we dial all of the addresses that this peer gives us uh, simultaneously. I know this is not, this is not perfect. Uh, this is not optimal. We are working on it. Uh, but that's what we currently do. Um, we, do. We don't give Quick any advantage. Like we start the Quick connection and the TCP connection at the same time. And then we use the connection where the handshake finishes fast, uh, finishes first. And this just shows that Quick is really quick. Uh, the handshake, handshake just finishes, uh, finishes a lot faster than uh, on, on a TCP connection, and that's how we end up uh, with, with like more than 90% uh, of quick connections. So now, now that we've established that quick is basically, uh, that, that lib 2 p is basically just quick, why do people still use lib 2 p Marco? <laughs> so lib 2 p gives, gives you more than just quick. We, we have UPnP and friends. We do NAT detection. Uh, we can determine if you're behind a symmetric NAT, full code NAT. Um, we can do automatic relaying with the whole Kubo network, IPFS network. And uh, we have hole punching protocols built in out of the box. So another reason why people um, use lib 2 p is because lib 2 p comes with uh, building blocks. When you're building a peer-to-peer -peer application, you probably want some kind of uh, some kind of DHT, and libp2p comes with the Kademlia DHT, and libp2p also comes with um, with GossipSub, which is a protocol to exchange messages between um, between different nodes, and that's used by uh, both Filecoin and Ethereum. So by building on top of libp2p, you can just rely reuse these these components um, and rely on them. And rely on the fact that they are probably probably just going to work. 
So this is how a um, how we think about a, a modern quick stack, uh, a modern lib P2P stack. So on the transport layer, as I said, it's it's like 90% quick, and then we we still have the fallback transports for for the cases where where quick doesn't work. Um, then on top of that, um, we have the net traversal magic. Um, it's very complicated. It's not fun to deal with nets and and how to get get through them. So it's really nice. To have to, to have a stack that just does that for you if you need it, and then on on top of that we have we have the the applications like like Hedemlia and Gossip Sub, and of course you can build on these building blocks um, your own your own protocols that do the actual peer to peer stuff that that you're interested in. All right, so we kind of talked about what the ingredients are for a lean lib P two P. Stack, and uh, so it's just a recap. We we can really build any interoperable lib P2P client with really j just these four things. So we just pick any quick stack here on the right. We have the Wikipedia entry for quick implementations. We add the lib P2P TLS extension, which is like how lib P2P uh, ties peer IDs to the TLS certificate, and then we implement peer ID encoding, which is you know that slash P2P stuff. Um, and then we send the multi-stream header when we negotiate uh, streams in, in Quick or, or whatever. And so introducing Ziglib P2P, a lean lib P2P stack. For this, I picked MS Quick. It's Microsoft C library for Quick. Uh, I picked it because it's, it's fast and well-tested. Uh, it's also C, so that makes uh, using it very easy. Um, the libp2p TLS extension was pretty straightforward, probably about 200 lines of code. Most of that is because I don't have a protobuf library. I'm using OpenSSL. Things are a little verbose there. Uh, peer ID encoding, meh, also around 100 lines of code. I'll say most of that is like OpenSSL, like trickery. Multi-adder parsing, pretty straightforward. Uh, and sending the multi-stream header, also fairly straightforward to implement. This is kind of like the direct, the source tree of, of what it, the implementation looks like. You can see it's pretty bare bones, but um, will it blend? So, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty bare bones, but it still is able to talk to every other uh, quick lib P2P implementation. And, uh, and, and, and yeah, so, so this data here comes from our interop tester which makes sure that different implementations can interoperate. Um, and if anyone is making their own lib implementation, I would encourage you to also take a look at this and add your thing. And we'll talk a little bit more about this uh, in a bit. But why, right? Like, okay, we have all these other great implementations. Why do I want the Ziglu PDP? I think it's useful to have this as a proof of concept. Starting from quick, you can build a very lean interoperable node. You don't have to start with lib P2P if you find yourself already in a different path. Lib P2P gives you a ton of stuff, but you're really, with quick, you're really like a stone throw away from being interoperable to the whole lib P2P network. Uh, I wanted to provide a C API to enable other implementations to bootstrap even quicker if like they want to handle, if they just want to use my code for the TLS extension stuff or, or something like that. Uh, and I wanted to experiment with MS Quick as a lib P2P node. Uh, MS Quick has some really, I, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan. Uh, they're, they're really fast and I, I like their API a lot. And so I wanted to see what it would look like to have that as a lib P2P node. And really I, I like wanted this, I wanted a different lib P2P library. So this thing has three dependencies, libc, openSSL, and MS Quick. Uh, I make few assumptions of what the caller wants to do, and I focus on performance from, from day one. And, and uh, it's no, uh, it's, I, I, I wrote, or I, I submitted the perf pr protocol very much inspired by this work. Okay, so, so here's a demo. Demo. Where's my mouse? Okay, so, this is a node you can see here I'm calling, um, I'm, I'm gonna run a ping binary and you see a multi-adder. This is just some go lib P2P node that- Do you want to increase the font size? Yes. Go 
the call. Okay, Elvis. Yep. Okay. That's probably big enough. Cool. So this is just like a standard multi adder you would see, a quick node. Um, yeah. And there we go. We get some ping responses. Uh, so so that, that's, that's the glue P2P pinging a uh, Golu P2P node. Um, and let's... Okay, so, so should we merge something on stage? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we just showed off the interoperability uh, head results, which is like, you know, the tip set comparing to all the published versions. But I want to take this a step further. And let me make this a little bigger. Can okay, hold it good? Yep. Okay, so. I mentioned a little bit about this interop tester. I showed you a screenshot of Zig head being tested against all the released versions. Now I want all the other implementations head to test against Zig. So, so just to be clear, this is now, once this pull request is merged, on, on every pull request we have in, in GoLib P2P and in Rustlib P2P, this and test will be, lib and, and NimLib P2P, and soon JS, and JS, lib JS lib P2P. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to test against Zigli P2P as well. All right, three, two, one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, that's that's all I got. Where, where are the performance benchmarks? Yeah, good question. There was a performance talk earlier today. Where were you? No I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so follow, follow the test plans. We, we have some infrastructure being set up here on performance. Like, I, I think as a bigger lib P2P effort, uh, we, we really care about performance and we're putting a setup into test plans. So if you want to follow along, this isn't ready yet. We, we have numbers, but they're just not ready to share. Um, but follow along on the test plans repo and specifically PR number 163 that will give you uh, all, the, all the perf information.